Hey, welcome back to the Happy Place Diaries. I'm Jerry. And I'm Teresa. And it is that time of the month. It's time for collaboration month. And we've got a good one this time that we've never thought about. That's right. And it's so fitting because for us today is a travel day. But this collaboration we're talking about, not what we're standing in, but what pulls what we're standing in. We are talking about our tow vehicle setup. Yeah, and what we need to do to get ready to go and what we need to bring. So in this collaboration, we have a special guest. And so we're gonna want you to watch all of our videos, watch this one all the way to the end, and then go check out the other folks in this collaboration. We have Dustin and Leslie from the Wayward Wags. We got Ken and Pam from the Roadsmiths. And we have Lawrence and Natalie from the Brazen Brits. Chris and Katrina from Our Everyday Getaway. And our guest this month is Jason and Jennifer from No Sticks, No Bricks. Yep, so let's get the slide outs in and we'll take you out to the truck. We have a F-350 Super Duty short bed um and it is single wheel drive so um right here we have our generator it is a champion 4500 it just lives back here it's actually chained up uh to the hitch we are using the anderson ultimate hitch uh we have towed about 12,000 miles with it no problems at all probably not going to switch out anytime soon uh back here we have a 13 foot uh little giant ladder it just tucks up underneath uh, the retractable tonda cover. Um, over in the corner there is a 50 amp extension cord and that blue thing right there, it's a brush for washing the trailer. And that's it. That's all we have in the bed of the truck. Uh, you can see we've got plenty of room to put other stuff, but typically this is what it looks like as we're driving down the road. I guess it's worth mentioning we have this little retainer bar uh, right here. We keep that up against the back of the um, the back of the generator. It doesn't hold the generator in place or anything. Uh, this cable is the lock for the generator. Uh, we have a little step stool right there, and that blue ratchet strap is for when we're uh, refilling propane. We keep the propane bottles, and that's what this is for. It keeps them standing up. Got my bag with snacks okay so another thing that we need to do is get some drinks so we're gonna grab water for mr. Jerry and then a couple sodas we're only going for it's only a two and a half hour trip so we don't need that much to drink but what we do need is our doggy water bowl. And I'll show you how this thing works. This is called a Pet Life water bowl. So you just pull it apart to clean it. But when you put it back, screwing it on, and then you fill it up. Secure the lid and then you just put the top on click it on there but then when you want to when you're driving down the road there's a little hole right here and that's where the water comes out and then it becomes a bowl so that they can drink in and then when they're done drinking you put the lid back on and it's good to go okay so snacks and drinks we just put in the back here so that I can reach back and get them whenever so I don't have to have all that stuff in the front seat. So Teresa's got her little thing over there inside here. We've got maps right there. Uh, essentially, we've got uh, California, Oregon, and Washington in there. A glove compartment is your standard glove compartment. Uh, we've got our BT7 Touch uh, hooked up right in here. And we have a... A uh, 12 amp extender right there. So it's got USB ports. It's got 12 volt ports and that seems to work out really well um, And then in here we've got the power 
hooked up for uh, my my phone or walkie-talkie when we're traveling with the group uh, goes in there and pretty much nothing else uh, lives in there so under the we've got a, a one third two third seat back here um, and right here on the driver's side we have a fire extinguisher um, this has little handy tools in it that we might need just on the road uh, this is uh, for ice and mud and whatnot you know just to get some traction a windshield cover and that is the jack stuff we keep a couple straps uh, this is our ice scraper and brush and then we have like a stadium blanket uh, right there and then we keep this little pad here because it's a nice kneeling pad if you ever need it travel day <laughs> we have our bag of snacks and then under there is a trauma kit uh, so it's got all the essentials in there to um, stop bleeding and that kind of stuff that we might uh, discover while we're out on the road. I'll show you the other side. So on this side, um, stadium blanket and uh, a lint roller just in case, because you never know. Um, we have more cargo straps right here. Uh, we've got some mountain money right there because you never know when you're gonna need that. And it uh, looks like my grandson left us a little frog in there. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Behind the seat here, we have some good old-fashioned old-school atlases. Um, this one's a trucker atlas, and then this is just a smaller one. Uh, Teresa's the navigator, so she'll pull those out uh, when they're needed. And that's pretty much the back of the truck. Okay, so I get my pillow in there because Chunk will lay on my lap the whole time. He won't get up, so I figured might as well bring my pillow so that my legs don't get totally numb. And then I just put the dog water bowl dish right there so I can reach down and get it when it's time for them to get something to drink. And I bring my iPad because my husband never talks, so I have to play games. Okay, so up here in Command Central, um, Everything is pretty much laid out to where I have good field of vision uh, in the truck. We've got our TPMS right here. We've got our rear facing camera that's on the back of the trailer, which is why it's showing no signal because we're not hooked up. And then we use our Apple Maps um, coming off of our phone. Uh, we found that that seems to be one of the most accurate GPSs that, that we've used. We had one of the Garmin uh, 770 RVs and um, we prefer this one. So we're all set to go uh, on our trip today. So we've got music, we've got maps, we've got vision, and we know what our tires are doing up here in the front. And that is pretty much it. We keep it really simple up here um, and we keep it to where everything is touch screen and we don't have to fiddle with that stuff so we've got the um, the TST touch screen uh, TPMS and that's really nice uh, it's calibrating right now um, we've got the halo view BT7 touch and so that's a touch screen also so we don't have to work through menus and whatnot and then of course our phone is a touch screen as well as uh, the sync three that's in our truck. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, we appreciate you sticking around all the way to the end to see how we set up our uh, F350 uh, to tow our amazing Montana. Uh, don't forget, check out all the other channels in this collaboration. And just as a reminder, that is. Uh, the Wayward Wags, Dustin and Leslie. Brazen Brits, Natalie and Lawrence. And Ken and Pam from the Roadsmiths. And Chris and Katrina from... Our Everyday Getaway. And Jason and Jennifer from No Sticks, No Bricks. Yep, our special guests for this month. We hope you enjoy all of their videos as much as you did ours. 
and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. <laughs> see ya.